Welcome back to We Happy Few. Last episode, we finished up a quest to explore all the caches at this place that supposedly had mines inside of it, although I never actually found any. Took out everybody inside, of which there were many, and looted all the stuff. And one of the things we got from looting all the stuff was a bunch of places, a bunch of coordinates, locations for dig spots. This one's real close, so let's get this one first. Should be right about here. Aha! And now, I am Mr. It's a night with Higgs both of us. Some gal drops. How long can this go on? How do I use caltrops? Here they are, so they're like a throwable. Let me just use one. Oh god. Yeah, just a whole box of them. Do they hurt me? No. But they will do a little bit of damage to the enemy and also slow them down. Ooh, I hope just, like, these citizens just walking on the street, I hope they don't hit this. Oh, there's some people coming. Yeah, I'm gonna get out of here. Whoop. Are they gonna know I laid the caltrops even though I'm not anywhere near it? Get it up. Sleep. It's important to sleep. I did actually just slept at the very end of the last episode, I think. Or close to the end of it anyway. Two more dig sites here, and then we got a bunch of pathways. There's so much to explore. There's still a whole train station thing. I still feel like I should maybe do that, because I don't I, I feel like there's gotta be more to that quest. I'm not just gonna like go there and then leave this place. Let's actually head towards that right now. Let's go do it. That's a second bomb. We need an extractor for that, though, to get anything out of it. Humph. Yeah, this is the bomb that I think we found before. Yeah, I remember staring at this really cool looking tree, admiring it. Whoa. Did I just lift myself up, like grapple onto the ground? I don't know what just happened there. Man, look at this place, it's so cool. Trespassing, right? No? I remember seeing some thugs in here, I think. This just doesn't go anywhere, does it? Huh. Yeah, this is... Trespassing question mark. What are we gonna do if there isn't food? Will you shut it? I'm trying not to blow myself up. Hey, look up your board bags, I'll piss in your corpses. 
<laughs> We're coming for you, you greedy bastard! Go eat a banger, you leaky scanner! You're done hoarding all the V meat! Go eat a banger. See, I'm thinking of the term bangers and mash, and I think the bangers are like sausages. So I'm thinking go eat a banger basically means go eat a dick. the only thing in there. That wasn't worth it. Ooh, that's a clean bandage. further. I hope no one's looking, I hope no one's looking, I hope no one's looking. Okay, they kind of spotted me. I think we're good now. Just relax. Don't question it. Don't I have skill points to spend? Three. I might want to save them. Some things cost five skill points. Or I can get something like Smooth Talker, Body Snatcher. Heal better. L let's see what ones take five points and see if I want to save up for them. Healing items are 50% more effective. That sounds really good. That's listed under Super Duper. Notice footsteps from further away. That would be very that'd be very good. That'd be wonderful. Oof, they get expensive. Eight points, ten points. Sprint quietly. Oh, that'd be nice. Silently pick locks. And also, Jimmy bars and disarming tools last longer. Haven't really had an issue with that. Noise or running out of any tool, really. Minus 25% visibility at night. People ignore your annoying habits. Staring, jumping, crouching, and running no longer annoy people. That annoys people? Oh, so you gotta be, like, really careful in certain places, huh? Um, I think I want to save up for ear to the ground. Notice footstep from footsteps from further away. Right, I've already got the plus 50% health. That's really good. It's a charged attack would be nice, though. Hmm. Also, unarmed hits to the head have a chance to stagger the enemy. 
That also is pretty good. Because I don't want to kill people, so... You know, when it comes to trying to non lethally take somebody down... My fists are the only option right now. Pack a wall up, do more damage hitting people. That's good. Make them bleed more often. Okay, that I don't want. Chance of breaking an enemy's weapon with a successful block with your weapon can also stun. 25% chance to break enemy weapon when blocking. That's really good. Let's get this Iron Fist, actually. The other person's also kind of coming here, so I need to wait. There we go. Please don't make a fuss. Down to the tracks. Oh, oh. This one hurt a oh. bit. This might hurt a little bit, though. <laughs> They're just unconscious. They're fine. God, it got so dark. Is that that's just from going inside? It gets way darker when I go inside. Weird. Oh, baby's screaming on my desk because she wants food, but her feeding time isn't for two hours and 20 minutes. Greedy little baby. Greedy little baby. I can't remember if I searched this body. It's too distracted petting my little baby transpian. Getting a little stretch in there. That's good. Ooh, there's another person pretty close. They might hear two. Yeah, two people. that only gets the one? Yeah. on top of this map. Oh, 
Ooh, what's up there? <laughs> Transamine has her... She has most of her body on my lap, but she's got her paws on the mouse pad a little bit. Which is super cute, but also makes it hard to move the mouse. I have so many Jimmy bars. Why is that so hard? There we go. Ooh. There's gotta be something up here, right? Maybe it's just a way in if I didn't want to deal with the guards. Oh no! Oh Jesus Christ. I think that's all it is. Ooh, fireflies. Oh. Mm. Well, that hurt a little bit. So I get down. Right. Huh. Now I just have to find the tracks and walk on out of Wellington Wells. This is turning into a bigger thing than I thought. But yeah, surely we're going to end up going a place where we can go back to this place. Oh, we have a flashlight. When you need to see in the dark, you can, you can equip a torch as long as the power cell lasts. Any torches you have will queue up in quick slot three. You cannot fight while using a torch. Yeah, obviously it's going to make it easier to be spotted as well. And it takes up power. So, not something you're going to want to use all the time. It's a really nice looking light. Like, both the light beam itself just looks really pretty, but also the thing. The light, the flashlight. The power cells strapped to it. Looks so futuristic. get in there, but I can pick it up from here. Happy birthday, Sebastian. My dear Sebastian, happy birthday. I can hardly believe you're ten already. Of course, you're such a brave boy that you often seem much older. There's a slice of carrot cake in the box. I know it's not your, fav your favorite, but we'll have to make do just a little longer. Next year, I hope we'll have a proper birthday cake and candles for you. This war can't last forever. Your loving mummy. Dear darling Sebastian, what a brave boy you are. Daddy says you got on the train and climbed out the back into the tunnel, just like we practiced. We were so worried when we saw the train pull away. What if the windows had been locked? It was agony waiting to know you were safe. Daddy says you're cross with him for not coming earlier, but please understand, it's too risky, except on days when, when he can inspect the tracks. Daddy will bring you food every Tuesday. 
Try to make it last. We don't have ration coupons for you anymore, but that's all right, as I need to reduce anyway. Courage, my little soldier. Love, mummy. P.S. I've asked Daddy to smuggle Aloysius to you. I know you think you're too big to sleep with a teddy bear, but it's good to have a comfort of home, no? Right, so they're under 13, so they were taken away on the train. But they practiced escaping the train before it left, or while it left, pretty much. So they can't, the kid can't come home, because I guess the Germans would notice. You know, like, hey, you look awfully young, weren't you supposed to be on the train? And then everything would just go down the drain for the kid and for the family, probably. So they were just hiding the kid somewhere. There's the teddy bear. Loisius. Ooh, hey rat. Look at that little rat. Nice little friend. Sebastian, we're worried. Daddy says you weren't in your hidey hole on Tuesday and hadn't eaten your cake. This is no time to be a picky eater. Where did you go? You know it's risky to go out by yourself. Please be a good boy and don't scare us like that. At least leave us a note so we know you're safe. Well, this is where they were hiding. This is their hidey hole. What happened to them? Let's have names and dates. Switch replacement? Hmm. Oh, nasty. How long has that been there for? Like 20 years? Wouldn't it look worse than that at this point? There's a pile of clothes there. Is that children's clothes? I don't know, I can't tell. Oh. <laughs> I guess Arthur doesn't... isn't much of a player. I can play chord. Power cells already out. I hope I find more power cells. Like a lot more. That didn't last long. Oh. As they were. I guess they confiscated all the toys. As the kids were being taken away in the train. Just all the luggage that they weren't allowed to take. Oh man, I can't see anything. Maybe this will turn on the lights? When unlocking trackside door, always do be careful. A, D, B, C. A, D, B, C. Let's not go down there just yet. God, I really can't see anything in some places. I'm so sorry, Percy. 
I should have got on the train with you, like I promised. The rule was if a kid was a day over 13, what could I do? You could have kept your mouth shut, Arthur, and not told them you were 13. That's what you could have done. single sovereign. Jammed. Where do I go then? Isn't this where I came from? I guess it's not. I promised I'd go with him. And you are too old to go to Germany, are you not? Please, no! He can't take care of himself! Bloody Bobby. I told him I wanted to board even if I was ten days too old, but we don't make the rules anymore, Mr. Hastings. I shouldn't have told him they got my birthday wrong. I don't even know why I did. Should have just kept quiet and got on the train. Some sort of caving. So much for walking down the train tracks to the Britannia Bridge. What the fuck do I do now? Oh, look! It's a long? little lost lamb. Where's Bo Peep? In your curtsy way, I bet. <laughs> That's little Miss Muppet, you Muppet. Uh, uh, can we pound him now? <laughs> yep. <laughs> right, hold on. So it's just occurred to me, even though I'd prefer to be non-lethal generally, my rationale for being non-lethal, aside from it just being nice and not wanting to leave a wake of hundreds of dead bodies behind me, the main thing is that anybody who's on joy is <sighs> not really sure how to refer to it. They're not exactly mind controlled, but, and they're not exactly forced to do anything in particular, but being on joy warps reality and your sense of self and your memory so much that I can't blame anybody who's on joy for the things that they do too much. I, I can a little bit, but not completely. So I don't want to kill somebody, even if they're violent to me, if they're on joy. Because I feel like they probably wouldn't try to kill me if they were in their right mind. But it's just occurred to me that these people aren't on joy. No one out here is on joy. It's only the people in the, in the cities, I guess. So, shovel time? I'll just call it a victory. A victory. <laughs> Damn! Suffer's over! Good! Shovels are brutal! For knocking down my blocks in kindergarten. <laughs> yeah, they're not unconscious. Can't even see the bodies here. Not like they have anything too important on them anyway. Do 
Germany wants to see you. If I hadn't smoked in high school, I could carry a bit more. Right, I think I'm overweight because I have like four rusty shovels on me and a whole bunch of branches. The shovels are by far the heaviest though. Yeah, let's toss a bunch of these. I think I only need one rusty shovel. Actually, maybe I just want zero rusty shovels because I already have equipped a not rusty shovel. That seems sensible. How good is that? Only somewhat helpful in convincing people to lie down. Moderate damage, very durable. Yeah, much less damage than the shovel, of course. Requires less effort and much faster speed. I think I'm still going to go with the shovel. It was incredibly effective. I almost wish there were less things to loot in the environment. Because I already feel like I'm spending a lot of time just mashing V and E on everything. Murdering wastrels! Can you go mental? I'll save you, Margaret! I'm your old neighbour, Artie! Always lying! Little Artie! Artie's gone! They took him away! Ollie, no! They You're didn't! You're lying! You're a wastrel! Ollie, it's Arthur! Well, why didn't you see that before? Oh my god, Artie. Little Artie. Yeah, for fuck's sake. Watch your mouth, laddie. What would your mum think? I thought they took you away. No. They had my birthday wrong. What? Sorry? No, of course not. No, you've got it all wrong. That was Jack turned you in and I what tried to save you. Right. I remember now. You came back. From the station. The only one. You don't think they hurt him? Percy. The Germans aren't animals, you know. They just wanted to make sure we stay quiet. And we did. Spot of tea? Uh, that's very kind of you. I I'm not thirsty. That's right, Margaret. We have to run after water. <laughs> I have to find him. Any idea where he might be after all these years? Not really. I know I have to get out of Wellington Wells. I, th I thought I could take the train tracks to the bridge. Aye. The only way to the Britannia Bridge is the train station and the parade. And good luck getting into the parade. You could stay here. Remember when you and Sally used to stay with me? When the... But it's young Artie. Meg, you remember Artie, don't you? No room at the inn for young Artie? 
No. You're right. You're always right. Sorry. Margaret says it's best if I keep to myself. Oh. Sorry to bother. But... Margaret thinks we could help each other. Really? Brilliant! There's a warehouse in the old German camp. We could burgle it. The Victory Memorial Camp? Where all those home army chaps run around practicing stabbing people with bayonets? What, what do you want me to do there? Run around yelling, here I am, shoot me, while you go in under the wire? There's uh, a thing I need from their warehouse. If you help me, I'll get you out of Wellington Wells. I just need you to turn off the power in the camp. And this isn't going to get me killed. Don't be a great girl's blouse! I'll meet you at the bunker after dark. Don't worry about the sentries on the bridge. I'll make sure they get a good night's sleep. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Shall I just show myself out then? Ollie? I don't actually know the way out, you know? <laughs> they just left. You know, I'm not a big fan of the... It seems like they're going for the... The jokey... Oh, look, this person has lost their marbles. Oh, wacky. They're talking to themselves. How silly. I'm not a big fan of that. That's like mental illness as joke. Which is bad. Victory meat. V meat. Is it as good as the advertisements claim? That's Margaret. From school. Margaret... What's her name? She was supposed to go on the train, but then she disappeared and no one would talk about it. What's up there? That's where I'm supposed to go. So and disposable safe cracker. Oh. Oh, this area that would look like there was nothing here. There is something here. It's like a quick way to get to Ollie, I guess, although they're not home right now. Is this to summon them? Surprise, they're not there right now. So we're supposed to go over here. Across the Inkerman Bridge. Okay, so now I think we're free to explore more around here, right? Let's just go follow this path up here. North. Bees. You know what, actually, maybe I want to go sleep. I probably should. Yeah. Let's go sleep. Make it daylight, heal a bit, dump off a lot of stuff, because I have a lot of weight in my inventory. Hmm, seems like I can craft a couple new things. I'm not exactly sure what, how I got them, just quest progress, leveling up. I thought you got it exclusively from blueprints, but I guess not. So we have sick up tea, which basically makes you vomit to get rid of food poisoning. I don't tend to eat anything rotten. Hopefully I'll never need that. There's also the help, when you want someone to lie down, but not forever. It inflicts light and non-lethal damage. Not very durable. Well, it doesn't sound very good, but let's try it. Let's sleep for 8 hours until 9.38am. Almost full health. 
Actually, I changed my mind about where I want to explore. There's so much here. There must be a quest that's going to bring me here, right? So I think I should stick with the main quest. And then I think it'll probably end up taking me over here at some point. Probably. It's fine. This game isn't short, so it's not like I'm going to go over here and turns out this was the last quest in the game. I mean, for God's sakes, look how many skills we've gotten. We've barely done anything. And yes, I know I have three skill points. I'm saving them. So yeah, let's take that path. Should be a bridge somewhere over there. Yum, yum. Paging Mr. Churchill. Mr. Churchill to the front desk, please. Trespassing. Present pass here. Is there someone actually there? Are they al I think they're alive, but just sleeping. I think. Raven's home. Victory Memorial Camp. Home army personnel and authorized visitors only. Surrender personal weapons here. I guess I don't have to do that if they're sleeping? I could just sneak past them. Hmm. Don't think we'll be getting around that way. Infiltrators and spies will be bayoneted. Save ammunition bayonet trespassers if you can. Ooh, two fresh bandages, a bunch of glass bottles. How many bottles do I have now? 22. Got some hidden up there on that top shelf. I think that's it. Open gate button. What gate? This one that's already open? Yeah. Huh. Oh. Everybody here seems to have just Drunken themselves into yeah, uh, almost unconsciousness. One fine day, the sea boys come running into the regimental HQ, saying there's an elephant broke loose. Now, elephants is very gentle creatures most of the time, and they get along just fine with their man who rides them. He's called a mahu. But when they're in heat, you have to chain them up. And this one, they got loose. And his mahout went chasing off in exactly the wrong direction. And the elephant runs into the market and starts eating peaches. And the coolie tries to stop him. And the elephant oh, steps on him something horrible. Mashes him right into the mud. And skin comes off his back like he was peeling a grape. Ooh. So the sea boys come running up to this general. Only then, he was a major, and say, You must come shoot this elephant. So... He gets his hunting rifle, oh, it's a 505 Gibbs, and he goes down to the market. Only now, the elephant isn't in the market anymore. It's in a field eating leaves, as calm as never mind. So, there's no cause to shoot it anymore. And by now, the mood's come back, and he's screaming and jabbering about, oh, please don't shoot my elephant. You see, he's grown up with that elephant his whole life. And he don't know how to do any other job except sit on that elephant and tell it to pick up a log and carry it over there. But the elephant's taking the life of a man, you see. A coolie, but a man. And the moat's crying and jabbering and cool as a summer breeze. The general chambers around, puts it right through the elephant's heart. <laughs> and the wind just goes out of it. It just kneels down and sighs. And then it's gone. And all the villages are running to get their knives because it's free meat. Now, see, a lesser man 
would have trembled at the thought of shooting an elephant that's just calmly standing there eating leaves. He might have missed the heart. Some civilian in Burma had to shoot a rogue elephant and he had to practically empty a whole magazine into the poor thing and it was half an hour of the time. But the general makes a tough choice, you see. So don't you armchair generals tell me what you would have done. Just follow orders and we'll win the next war. The general's promised, all right? That's the the lesson, the life lesson you took from those events? Okay. I wonder if I can get them to come out. <laughs> no, they're too drunk. Fuck, I want to beat him over the head, but I can't. They said I could. Well, of course the Germans said you could go on it. I'm saying you can't. I've never been on a battleship. But that's not the point. We hate the Germans, and that battleship is part of the reason the Germans are our lords and masters right now. Do you remember when they came over in all the little boats? Do you mean in 1942 or in 1943? Do you want people to spit on Mum when she goes to the market? She doesn't go to the market. Since 1945. Oh, look, this is just one of those things. I can't explain every single detail of everything to you. Are you mad at me? G I'm not. You're not? I mean, yes, I am. I am mad. I was mad, but now I'm not. Look, please don't go on the Bismarck. It will get you into trouble, which means I'll then be in trouble. All right. You won't go? I couldn't go without you, anyway. For once, that's a relief. What? Fucking civilians! Yeah. I have to kill you now. Christ. I better not let anyone see me out of uniform. Can I take their uniform? Damn, why can't I take their uniform? This place is very high security, and they are not drunk in there. I see them walking around, patrolling. Hmm. That's where I'm supposed to meet them. Well, I'm definitely not going in the front entrance. Let's just go towards the quest marker and around the side and see what we find. <laughs> 